Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Pastor J. Carter, the Change Church. Jumping online and hit you with another video. Before we get started with today's content, let's pray. Thank you, our Father, who art in heaven, for all the things you have done for us. Thank you for giving us a clear mind, clear understanding about every situation that we go through. Father God, allow us to see the blessing in it. Allow us to see the lesson in it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, guys. I have something to tell you guys that I have been holding on to far too long. And honestly, I did not know where to begin with this. So let's start with last night's church service. So I don't know when I'm going to post this, but um, last night was Friday and there was a testimony service that I was asked to be a part of. And I'm a for real, for real preacher. I'm not a professional church goer. I know y'all probably like, what, what's that pastor? What is a professional? Um, <laughs> I feel like a lot of times people tend to uh, go to church so much, they forget the meaning behind it. They forget the reason why you go, they forget the kind of people that will be there. Um, and, you know, a lot of times it's judgment. It is ridicule, uh, ridicule um, all kind of just crazy things happen at church that if you ask me, just should not be happening. But um, I'm not one of those professional church goers, okay? And so... Um, I said yes to this program because, um, one, I am, I don't want to say new as a pastor, but I do things a little differently, as you guys are able to tell, just a little differently, and I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that, uh, but when you go into somebody else's a service or, you know, event, you want to make sure that you're within their guidelines and things like that. So, uh, I'm not a hooper. I can hoop, but I'm not a hooper. Uh, I'm not a holler. I'm not a squalor. These things I can do, but I only feel like it is necessary to be done when the Holy Spirit is really there. And, or if you're unctioned by the Holy Spirit to use these kinds of theatrics. So I am more so a teacher. And I know you're probably like, what? I thought you was a pastor. Uh, well, let me explain. Um, it's very important for me to make sure people understand the things of God and the relationship with him uh, versus, you know, church business. So it's important to me that that's important to me. So I said yes to this program and I was not excited about the program. And it was kind of weird because everybody else was super thrilled. Like on Facebook, they were like, yes, I can't wait to testify. And I was like, you know, I'm good. But, um, but anyway, uh, of course I go, I'm a woman of my word. If I, if I say I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be there. Um, uh, so I go and, um, I was supposed to jump up, you know, and, and give my testimony. But then it started to hit me like, I have so many. I have seen, uh, I've been promiscuous. Like, I don't mean just like a little bitty whore. I mean, I was a hoe, okay? I don't mean a little bitty situation. Um, I won't count how many abortions or miscarriages that I've had. I won't count uh, a few times I found myself in places that I really shouldn't have been. And I'm not talking about the club. I'm talking about like ditches, hotel rooms, uh, with drugs around me, um, things that has happened to me. And so, I even, I've even, um, witnessed, uh, some very tragic, uh, events. Uh, with gun violence and things of that sort. I've been through a lot in my little bitty age, guys. And um, so <sighs> I couldn't decide. And I know y'all about to be like, you tripping. 
I couldn't decide which testimony to tell. And this is an honest to God situation. And I'm like, I don't really know what. I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like right now being married to my husband who is in prison, this is a big test for me. And I don't mean um, sexually. I mean a big test for me because there's so much backlash that I've received because of marrying him. Uh, I now can really identify who my friends are. I can identify who truly has my back. And I don't have to talk to these people every day. Let me make sure I make that very clear. I don't have to talk to them every day. I don't have to text them every day. Oh, but when I call. <laughs> oh, but when I call them, they are ready, right? And so um, I'm in a big test right now concerning uh, um, my marriage and marrying my husband And not saying that my marriage isn't joyful and I'm not excited, not saying that, but uh, the stigma of being married to a prisoner is real and how people treat you because you're married to a prisoner is real. And um, you guys know my story, so let's not go that far deep into that. So uh, this is what happened last night. It was kind of funny. And um, so I was told, like, you're going to go up right after this lady, you know, and just kind of run up there and, you know, tell your testimony. I was like, okay, cool. I think I got it. I think I can run, you know, like double dutch. You know what I'm saying? I think I can do this. And so, <laughs> so all of a sudden I'm standing up because I'm preparing myself to get ready to go because it's like a popcorn thing. If you ain't never been in no real life testimony service, uh, especially with these kind of people, uh, it, you you better be getting out of getting this good. And so um, as soon as every time I would try to pop up, somebody to stand up on me, you know. So it looks like I'm like headed to the front of somebody. Ah, tell the Lord. And I'm like, OK, let me sit back down. And it was like three or four times that happened. And one lady said, you might as well just run on up there because they not going to they not going to let you talk. <laughs> so. I uh I go up there and I give a testimony about something that happened to me and I just kind of want to share with you guys. And I want to tell you when I was about 8 years old, God started giving me visions and dreams and this is the earliest that I can remember uh prophesying. The earliest I can remember I would say something to my mom or to my sisters or my uh stepdad at the time or my brother and then I'll go back to just doing whatever I needed to do. I just needed to say what I need to say and go on about my business, you know. The Lord told me to say something, I said it and I moved on. And so um once my brother was able to realize what it was, he began to cultivate it. And so my brother began to train me in the prophetic Um, I mean, so much as even in grocery stores, he'll be like, God is telling you to tell this person that, do you know what it is? You know, can you manage, uh, in the prophetic when you hear so much going on in the spirit realm at one time? And so I'm like, okay. So I learned a lot, uh, under my brother's wing. I learned a lot under my brother's wing. And, uh, so I was about 14 years old. I got my tongue pierced. I don't know what I was thinking. And I ain't even going to tell y'all how I got a pierce because I don't got time for y'all to be judging me. I don't got time for that. I don't got time for that. So I got my tongue pierced, not at a place where I should have got a pierced. And I didn't even get the right um, tongue ring. And, you know, if I would have went to a professional, they would have told me, ma'am, this is the wrong thing. And you need to get the right thing. (laughs) And so, yeah. So I got the wrong thing. Anyway, the... um, The tongue ring got stuck in my tongue. Like I had to, I had the tongue ring literally stuck in my tongue and I had keloids building on my tongue, like, uh, right here, right, uh, right here in my mouth, uh, on my tongue. And so, um, my mom is the type of mom that's like, listen, (laughs) I didn't tell you to do that. So I'm not going to pay to get it taken off. And I'm like, but mama, the ring is inside, like it's inside. And it's, it got so bad, I started carrying like candy and gum because everybody's like, oh, give me some candy. And I'm like, I want some candy. What's that in your mouth? This is the reason why I stopped singing. And so I used to sing in the choir. And y'all always hear me say, I can't sing. And that's really because I, I honestly believe that I did not allow my gift to be cultivated in that way um, because of the situation with my mouth. And so... I could have even been younger than that. I could have been like 13. Nevertheless, um, I end up um, going to, I end up going, um, excuse me, to um, get this removed. 
like maybe 10 years later, I'm like approximately 24, 25, and I'm getting this thing removed off of my tongue. And um, everybody's like, why would you do that? Now, at this point, I'm prophesying everywhere, people, uh, and I'm everywhere, not as in national, but I'm saying, you know, like locally, locally. And uh, people's like, oh, prophetess. Oh, prophetess, what is the Lord is saying? People calling me on the phone and I'm just telling them what thus says the Lord. I'm getting very comfortable and confident in my gift. I'm super excited about what's happening in my life. And so uh, I, w- I want to go get the, uh, the keloids removed off of my actual tongue. But remember, the ring is lodged in my tongue. OK, remember that. Okay, guys. And so um, anybody that know me from back then, y'all are more than welcome to comment and be like, yep, she's telling the truth, y'all. But um, but yeah, so I end up um, trying to get it removed and everybody around me pretty much, maybe a few people didn't, but pretty much everybody around me were like, you shouldn't get that done. You know, you've been talking just fine without it. So don't get it removed because the doctor told me that I will forever speak with the lips. Or I will not talk at all. Now, every now and again, my tongue get fat. You know, I did. But there's no pain. And if you ask me, I speak very eloquently. <laughs> when I ain't being ratchet. So, so um, as I was getting ready for surgery and prepping for the surgery, Romans 4 and 21 is what came to my mind. Romans 4 and 21. And it said, being fully persuaded that what he is, what he has promised, he is also able to perform. And that is the scripture, Romans 4 and 21, that kind of led me into my surgery because I was almost at a point where allowing people to talk me out of being truly healed from something from my past. And there is absolutely, if you ask me, no residue, but you can still see just a little scar on my tongue. And if I like bite on that part, I can feel like um, the 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 part where they sewed it up together. I can I can feel it. They had to cut this part of my mouth, so it's short. I used to be able to reach my tongue, you know, to hear. And so here's the part of the testimony. I know y'all like past the we, we It's a long video. I'm, I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. So. But anyway, um, I ended up getting the surgery done. They said, hey, man, you're not going to be able to talk or or if you do, it'll be with a lift. So I ended up moving in with my mom because I had a toddler at the time. Papa was a toddler and I did not want to be walking around screaming at no toddler. And I really couldn't talk. Didn't want that to happen. So I had like a notebook. I mean, uh, excuse me, like a dry erase board. And I'm writing on dry erase board, flipping it around, dry erase board, flipping it around, feeling real crazy almost feeling as if the naysayers were like hey you know what i'm saying i told you not to get it done and when i tell you how church people ridicule ridicule is is very harsh because you would think that this is like loving blah 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 blah. but church people i didn't say kingdom people which is a difference but church people they they can really hurt your feelings and so um nevertheless i got the thing removed and i moved back in with my mom so that way i didn't have to yell and scream at my kid and you know somebody could help me with my baby and i'm laying in the bed in uh the guest room at the time laying in the bed and uh all of a sudden it felt like somebody was stabbing my tongue like stabbing my tongue stabbing my tongue and i woke up in so much pain y'all i woke up in so much pain ran to my mom's room mouth full of blood and i'm like mom and you know you know like mommy my tongue's hurting somebody's killing me it's like my tongue hurts so bad and I'm just when I mean screaming and, and just really in pain just really in pain um uh, my mom I mean mouth full of blood blood is everywhere my mom is like but Jackie you're talking and I'm like huh I was so caught up in the pain that I felt this pain woke me up out of my sleep man and I ran into my mom and she was like well Jackie you're talking and I'm like I be dang on. So I said all of that um, to say that, and I said this last night at the testimony service was that the enemy is not after what looks good and all of that other stuff. The enemy is after your gift, your purpose, the thing that makes you uh, um, 
uh, gifted, the thing that, that God has ordained you to do, your life's purpose, your life's mission, he's after that. And he's going to attempt to stunt that growth early on. It started as early as me being 14. And then even after I got the, the, the piercing done and I kind of moved along and did what I wanted to do throughout life, I was still able to prophesy even with this thing on my tongue, this kilo with the ring actually still inside of the tongue. Remember that, guys. And then so even with getting it removed, so many people were like, no, 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 no. But I was fully persuaded that what the Lord had promised, he was able also to perform. And in that scripture doesn't say that he does perform. It says that he's also able to to perform. So that means even if he doesn't do it, I should be excited that he's able to do it. Everything he's promised, he's able to do. So I shouldn't just get excited at the results. I should be excited about the ability as well, but we're not going to preach to y'all. We ain't going to do that. All I'm saying is, that's what I said last night at the testimony service. And I said, you know what? I haven't shared this with my followers on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. So boom, here we go. I hope y'all have a wonderful blessed day and thank y'all for allowing me to share just a bit of my testimony.